Today we are going to be talking about Rampage, so stay tuned. Welcome to the Real Review. Welcome to The Real Review, sponsored by Pyrometric and Lazy Ape Studios, where you get some of the latest happenings, real thoughts, and perspectives in the world of film and television. Hi, everybody. I am here with Joel Mortal Rampage Cunningham. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. I was going to shout Rampage. You took me. You took my thunder. I was going to go rap. Yeah. Thunder. Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I am here with Matt. Of course he can fly. Hey. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you guys. Which is also from our film we're going to yes, be talking about. Rampage. Rampage. Anyways, yeah, um, yeah thanks for, for tuning in, guys. Uh, welcome to The Real Review. Yes. Um, and just for a little recap, real brief, uh, the way that we do things here is we give you kind of different perspectives. I'm a little bit more emotional, a little bit more fan, like, yay, if it makes me excited or if I feel like I've been emotionally moved in some way, I will overlook things in a film. Yeah. And that's kind of what I'm more drawn towards. Joel's a little bit more analytical, critical, uh, <laughs> negative maybe. Um, <laughs> Can be. And yeah, potentially. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I would add a caveat and say okay. we are both discovering and learning much about film. And, yes, we are. And video and television as we go. So we're inviting you to join us as join. we do this as well. It's one of the things that I feel like we could do a better job explaining that, you know, you're not and I'm not professional critics we yeah absolutely we not. take this on as a hobby as a fun thing and we are learning a lot and having a lot of fun and inviting and enjoying the the aspect of people joining us in that journey yes absolutely yes so so come along won't you come along join us in our adventure magical carpet ride as we have rampage of film yes anyways <laughs> <laughs> so um joel yeah. Why don't you just, after you know, explaining that lovely like little caveat there, yeah. why don't you go ahead and tell everybody how they, how they can yeah. get connected? You with can just us. say unnecessary. You don't have to. I'm, I'm it up. a professional critic in my own circle <laughs> of just me. I will say in our professional. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, we have a number of different ways you can get connected to the podcast. We have realreviewmedia.com, which is our website. I mean, how much more legit can you get? We got a website, right? Yeah. Uh, we also have Facebook. I mean, that's the legit right there. Facebook.com slash. Real Review Media, although who knows how long that'll be around these days with the Zuck going to Congress. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? The bird. Uh, yeah. That's not a political statement. I'm nope. just making a joke. Uh, additionally, <laughs> we have our... <laughs> too soon. Hashtag too soon. We have our Instagram and our Twitter, which are both at Real Review Media, and we would love to get connected with you with email if you have thoughts, perspectives, input. Maybe you're enjoying the journey. You want to talk to us about what you're doing with film and media. If you got some stuff you're doing, uh, send us an email, realreviewmedia at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And we have our YouTube, which yes. is, yeah, which the is YouTube where we channel. stream our vidcast. Get the vids going on there. So join us again, if you will. YouTube.com slash The, the Real Review. Review. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> well, um, yeah, we only really had the uh, the one movie that we were kind of talking mm -hmm. about the, uh, talking about this week, and it yeah. is Rampage. Yes, although we are catching, I am at least catching up on television, and soon we will hopefully have another Tube Talk episode to to go through. I'm watching right now the new uh, Lost in Space. I'm starting that. Just getting in there. Really soon. Okay, yeah. I'll be. I'll keep my thoughts to myself. Yeah. And there's like Wild Wild Country. Is it, it's kind of a Netflix series. I feel series like I'm so and, far behind on a lot of these things too. I did watch yeah. these. What did I watch recently? Never mind. I forget. It's all good. <laughs> well, you're way behind on a couple of shows. Yep. Walking Dead. I'm behind on Flash. Walking Dead. And I'm actually almost caught up on Flash okay. and Black Lightning. So gotcha. Yeah. So we'll have some stuff to discuss. Yeah, totally. yeah. But for now, we'll stick with. Yeah, let's film. stick with Rampage right now. Rampage. Rampage. Yeah, with our Lacroix. Yeah, the Lacroix guys. So let me give. You, let me break it down here, and we'll get right into this thing. So. Rampage, uh, the synopsis, when three different animals become infected with a dangerous pathogen, a primatologist and a geneticist team up to stop them from destroying Chicago. Um, directed by Brad Payton, mm -hmm. also known from his work with The Rock on San Andreas. The infamous. <laughs> the infamous. <laughs> infamous Brad. Um, starring Dwayne Johnson, yep. Naomi Harris, Melon Ackerman, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Jake Lacey, Joe Manganelli, I can't say his last name, and uh, some other people. Close enough. Yes, that's pretty close. That's pretty close. Manganiello. Yeah. Which he's only, he's very briefly in it. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. with this movie, I know I've been talking about the last couple of weeks. I, I was really excited just to get a really like, just a fun, dumb, giant action movie. Yeah. Um, And 
just to kind of give you my initial take on it, I got some of that, but I was yeah. kind of just like, I felt okay yeah. with the rest of it. I'd say out of those three, like if you had like a, a like a triangle, it definitely went towards the dumb and the action. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't really feel like they, they branched into the fun as much as I was hoping. The, I, I felt like they branched into it the most at the end. Yeah. The end definitely got a bit more in kind of the fun realm. Yeah, yeah, yeah But yeah. it all still managed to stay... For the most part, very serious. Yeah. I mean, they even tried to have a little bit of like, and I'm not going to spoil it, but a bit of like a tearjerker moment you know, right. once and or twice. Yeah, it took itself too seriously. Probably one of the things about this movie. Yeah. Initially, just right off the bat. Yeah. It's similar. Similar, yeah. yeah. It's funny how you always expect, there's these movies that these big Hollywood studios will come out with that you're expecting are going to be kind of silly, tongue in cheek, you know, cowboys versus aliens and stuff. And yeah. And then you see it like Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Right. You see them and you're like, that was, they took that really serious. Yeah. Like they were really <laughs> going for that. And then, yeah, it always confuses me. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. It worked for me in um, San Andreas, mm-hmm. the other Brad Payton movie. And I thought it worked all right because that was, it's more of family dynamics. But yeah. this one, you're dealing with the outrageousness of the situation and they were being way too serious. It would be super duper serious. I mean, they got into some real like military tactics yeah. and kind of strategies and, you know, ca- civilian casualties. And yeah. it's like the whole, yeah, it would just, it got very deep. I mean, talking about the reason why I'm like this, this one animal is like, you know, he had this horrible experience as a, as a baby and yeah. it's just like really deep stuff. Um, Initial thoughts, I guess. Yeah, you, you initial. Wanna... I'll start on the positive side. Yeah. Um, I will say this: The Rock is good. Yeah. I mean, you can't. I mean, yeah, he was good. His his relationship with George, the the gorilla seen in the trailers, is is the best relationship. Um, uh, I also really like Jeffrey Dean Morgan, although he's like some kind of a like uh like a less villainous uh, version of Negan. And um, he was trying to go for a Western guy, like r- cowboy. Right. I really didn't get that vibe. Right. I I didn't. The way he talks, he talks like Negan. It's got like this yeah. Negan flair in the way He's that like, he just talks oh, and smiles boy. and grins. It's a very Jeffrey Dean Looks Morgan like thing. We got ourselves and, an but, ape. <laughs> but I liked him. I didn't like him at first, but then as it progressed, I liked I liked his character a little bit more. Yeah. Um. But with with that, those that's really it for the characters. The one thing that I thought was really cool, the last 20 minutes were really, that was probably the most fun because that's when you get the animals just totally just basically all the stuff that you see in the trailers. Yeah. Um, and then um, I thought the CG uh, for the creatures at the end, I thought it, to me, it looked really, really good. I was really, really impressed with yeah. it. A lot of like the way that things were being messed up in the city. I thought that looked really, really cool. Yeah. Um, but that's we've, really it. Yeah, for my and we've seen that positives. done before. I mean, if you think of Transformers, you know, giant robots crashing through cities. They never Transformers just, just the never same has thing with giant monsters. Yeah, it never has visual issues. Yeah. Transformers is the problems with those movies are never what the visuals. Are, right. I'm know? just saying comparatively, yeah. like we've seen shots like this done before. Even if you compare um, the kaiju and everything fighting from Pacific Rim, yeah. we've seen these kinds of shots in modern cinema, and it's been done very well. So I would have been very surprised if right. if they had failed in that visual right. style. Right. Like, that been, looks terrible. Yeah. Like two thousand, um, like two thousands Godzilla. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh geez, we're gonna need more fish or whatever. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would say I agree with you in the most part. It was interesting. They actually set it up well to me. They created a bit of interest there. The opener? With, yeah. I like the opener. The opener was fine. It was, you know, outrageous, but yeah. arguably you're not going to come up with a concept here that is yeah. not outrageous right. in some right. fashion. You're talking about giant animals. Yeah. Um, I was a little bit disappointed, and I will kind of spoil this a little bit, but it's not a huge spoiler, um, that they didn't really more stick with the whole concept of what the video game was, which is humans that turn into these creatures and they went really with just the creatures being bigger versions of these other creatures with like spliced sort of DNA. Sorry, I'm spoiling that, but it's very, that's like the first five minutes of the movie. Right. So um, that, what's interesting about that is I totally thought there was a moment at the end. I thought they were going that route with, oh, really? with the character. I was like, yeah. <gasps> and then it didn't happen. Yeah. So and they mind. could be setting that up for like a sequel type thing because they definitely left it open at the end for like potential sequel bait. I mean, they could be going in that direction. Who knows where they're going to like, you it's know. It's crushing it internationally right now. Yeah. Um, so some other positives. I don't <laughs> know. I mean, that, the last, one. yeah. I mean, <laughs> the last the last 30 minutes of the movie or so was actually pretty fun yeah. and kind of tongue in cheek silly yeah. and like, oh my gosh, that's ridiculous kind of stuff. That was fun. Yeah. The first, 
the the yeah. So uh, that's kind of all my positives. Yeah. I would even just sort of move into a little bit of the negatives with this. Just saying, like, I kind of expect more with J- Dwayne Johnson. It's not that he was bad in this, but it just felt like it was very flat. And that might have really? been the movie in general to me. It just felt like okay. I thought, okay. I thought he okay. had some really like heartfelt moments at the beginning. With at the beginning, the well, and that's why I'm saying like there was some really good setup there. I mean, even a couple of the characters that we meet at the very beginning of the movie that more or less disappear right. after the first act is over. We never hear from them again. And I was kind of like, why would you do all that setup with them not to have more fully? And I was interested in kind of seeing their stories progress and see their story arcs and kind of how they changed as characters. That was weird to me. Yeah. I'm like, you spent this time setting up that they were going to be a part of this, and then they're really not yeah. after the first 25 minutes or so of the movie. True story. Um, so that was odd to me. And I think, uh, you know, if we're tiptoeing into the more negative territory here, okay. now, um, there was definitely, definitely some shot issues with some of the like shots being not only like choice of angle and like lens, but the way that they um, were doing like the different dolly shots and stuff. I saw a lot of shake in the camera at times. There was mm. some out of focus type elements. Um, there's one in particular that we talked about, right? Yeah. Like the parachuting. Yeah. Where Dwayne's face looks like distorted. Same and, with Jeffrey Dean Nor- Morgan. Yeah. They, it was You're like, really- who are they? It, it's like, it's like they didn't put Jeffrey Dean Morgan and, uh, and Dwayne Johnson in a, like a green screen scenario to right. film the scene. They actually wanted to they parachute actually, them. They actually had parachuting people and it looks like they just tried to copy their face yeah. onto the head of the parachuter. Yeah, either that or they life. had a it really... Was, it was really terrible looking. It, it was, was actually really bad. It was distractingly <laughs> bad. It was either that to me or like um, they used a like a like maybe like a fisheye, really cheapo kind of camera for the, the parachuting and then they tried to stretch it out and because the, they had to get the same aspect ratio and so by trying to get that same aspect ratio, I think it could have thrown his like face yeah. out of whack or something I like that. I don't know. It was weird. I don't know. That's like a technical thing I'd have to look yeah. into more. But that was really distracting, I thought. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is with it? And there was other shots too. There was like a shot where Dwayne pulls up in his car and the do- there's like a dolly pull back and I could see the dolly shaking and kind of bouncing, I think, on the track. And I'm like, what is I didn't see did-? any of that stuff. Yeah. I'm like, why? why are you- I didn't see any of these things. I'm like... I just thought maybe it was because there's giant animals running around creating yeah. the ground to shake or something. The other thing, and I know this sounds silly to me, but I actually felt like the thing that prevented this movie from being more fun and more engaging, and I kind of get why they did it because he's a big name, but I almost felt like there was too much Dwayne Johnson. It was so much about his story and about how he's processing this and handling the things that are going on with George and talking about his history and in, in, in interacting with Naomi Harris, who's like the love interest. It was so much about that that I'm like, I don't feel like I'm at all connecting with the rampage like elements. Yeah. Um, and then you have your two like evildoers like the, <laughs> yeah. which that got really ridiculous after a certain point, you <laughs> know, me, go ahead. That's funny. I was going to say with the, the, the the evil people in this are terrible, terrible, like oh, horrible characters. Yeah. Um, the one I was trying to place him for the first couple of times I saw him, I was like, where is this guy from? And it, it's Pete. Yep. Pete, Pete from The Office. Yeah, it's Pete. Oh, and he's Jake not, Lacey. he's a very, um, he's very like, just kind of down to earth, like, like, like cool guy, but like, like, I don't know why they cast him as he a was, bad guy. He was trying yeah. so hard to be a bad guy. I, was I like, know. I was like, this is not playing it very well. It was weird. Because I, <laughs> I didn't know if him and like uh, Claire yeah. were like a love interest in the film. Because they didn't really have any romantic chemistry. It was almost like they were, were they brother and They're sister? They're siblings. They're siblings. That's yeah. why. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense, well, actually. Yeah. I didn't really catch that very strongly. <laughs> You're like, wow. Okay. Now things. Okay. I understand. Now. Well, they didn't really have a good sibling relationship. No, I mean, didn't. she died. Maybe dies. I don't know. Oh, and spoiler yeah, we'll <laughs> maybe dies but like things happen bad things happen to both of them and like neither of them seem to care about what happens right. to each other it's yeah. kind of just like well, well i guess that's gonna happen to you they're, it's like they're the classic like surface level like cartoon comic book like evil villains that are they like, were Wah! yeah it was like a more like that's what they are. it was like team rocket almost and that's why it was <laughs> team like team rocket you know what i mean over there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it almost felt like that caricature because yeah. it was like i mean there's a part where he shows up and he's got like a, a coffee and a pop tart but it's in like a pop tart holder and he's like hey what are we gonna do what's gonna happen i don't know and it was just like what is he's eating character? a lot of things in a lot of different yeah i was like too. what are you what are you doing um, um she felt a very specific role too mm-hmm. which maybe we'll do like a very brief little spoiler talk at the sure. end but they like 
they felt it necessary at a couple moments to, I think, tie in the actual game yeah. elements. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know if you saw it, but in the background, there was a Rampage machine. Yeah. I was like, that's kind of weird. Like, okay, I, I get it. But then there was another scene later that we can maybe talk about in spoilers. No, I liked it. Um, I like that part. I kind of like the little nod. But anyways, uh, I... Um, I have a lot of I had a lot of negatives as well. Yeah. Um, the writing was really bad. All ninety five percent of the humor doesn't work in this movie. I yeah. I was like, that's so dumb. I yeah. like really really cheesy. Doesn't really work. I maybe chuckled one time, and that's why I gave ninety five percent of it doesn't work. Five of it maybe did. Um, other than that, I uh, the. It took itself too seriously. We talked about that right up front. It, yeah. that, it drew back from how fun this movie could have been. I don't. Yeah. I don't feel necessarily the same. Like there was too much of the rock. Um, I think if he had been a more, I don't know, maybe, maybe more of a caricature or something like that. Like if he had been more, like Pacific Rim, you had these kind of heightened caricature yeah. type people, and it made it fun and engaging to see them going through this horrible experience. And you got a little bit of their backstories as the thing, but every single element almost we're following. Dwayne and following and following yeah. and following and following and I'm just like I, this is supposed yeah. to be about giant animal creatures destroying cities right. there was um, and I agree with you there the the script just as a whole didn't work the dialogue was mm. bad the villains were atrocious oh, yeah. the um, <laughs> the whole point of introducing like a bunch of characters up front and then basically you know not even referring back to them ever again yeah. after the first 20, 30 minutes. Things just kind of happen at yeah. times too. And I won't say who, another kind of minor spoiler here, but like someone gets shot. Yeah. And then it's like immediate like, okay. It's like, it, yeah, it's like, like oh no, what? they've been shot. And There's then it's a lot like of a minute con- later, yeah. it's like, there were a lot no of worries. conveniences. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was like, okay. I will I will say this because I there there were a lot of negative thing, things in this movie. There are a couple shots at the end. There's one in particular that I was like, wow, that is cool looking. Like I was like, I was like looking at everything. This is crazy. Like um, I, I don't know. It just has to do with the monsters. Anytime that the monsters were on screen for me, I really enjoyed. The wolf was my favorite. Yeah. Um, the wolf was cool. Yeah. Yeah. The, the wolf was really cool. But um, he had probably the best action scene I thought as well. Yeah. Which took place when they kind of introduce him. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. It's kind of uh, a lot of that's just very. Oh, anytime there's a monster, that's one of those things. Anytime there's monsters or creatures, and I talked mm. about this last last week with a quiet place. Yeah. Uh, it's like that's already like a positive for me. Like yeah. I like creatures and like yeah. crazy things like that. Um, Which again, they set up another character to be sort of an ongoing, almost antagonist or part of the story to kind of go forward with it. Right. And I was expecting that character to kind of move forward, and then it was like, nope, yeah. not going to do that. And I, you can get away with that in a certain extent because you can set up an expectation that that's going to be a person yeah. you connect to and then cut that out and it's like oh wow they really got me there but they did that so many times where yeah. it's like things would just get cut off for no reason you're just like okay <laughs> at yeah. a certain point so for the most part um, it w- the movie I thought was okay I loved all the action stuff I thought that was fun um, and that but that's not enough for me to like and that was kind of the thing like where do I balance my like how I s- score a movie, you know, yeah. like how I do like all the actions of like, like I really like that. And I wish I could have seen a lot more of that, but for everything else, it's just kind of like a, uh, I don't know if I really thought this movie was like that good, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, do you have uh, like a score you feel like? Yeah. I'm giving it a 70. Okay. C minus. So gotcha. it was close to dipping into the D, but yeah. I think the acting saved it and the action yeah. saved it from kind of going into the, cool. Because the acting, for the most part, although it was kind of like wooden at times mm-hmm. and just a little like, okay, there were still attempts to take right. this seriously. And um, I think they they made us... It didn't feel like they were phoning it in with this. Yeah, yeah. It just felt like a lot of things didn't work out well. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to give it a 76. Okay. So a little bit higher, and I think that's probably more just because I, I enjoyed a lot of the action stuff with the, the monsters. Monster. Yeah. Um, other than that, it was... It had its fun moments. This is not the uh, like super fun, awesome video game movie I was hoping that we would get. I think I still think Tomb Raider is the best one uh, <laughs> between these two. Yeah. Um. The not not the first one, the new Tomb Raider. Right. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And I, I was still that, just laughing at the comparison. Just I'm as a whole, of like, I'm thinking of like what's her name, uh, 
Alicia and, Vikander oh, running yeah. around with two pistols, like shooting the giant wolf thing. I right. just, for some reason, that visual <laughs> popped in my head. That might be the movie to, to break the video game movie curse. <laughs> that's where it's the gonna, crossover. Yeah, well, that's where they Tomb the, Raider Rampage crossover. Yeah, that's where they embrace the old school Tomb Raider style. Yeah, quite okay, a bit. yeah. I gotcha, I gotcha. He's like, I need bigger guns. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that'd be funny. But um, do you want to dip into a little bit of spoiler? Yeah, talk? so yeah. let's get into spoiler talk. If you don't want to hear anything, I mean, really. It's, I've already I mean, it's rampage, stuff. but yeah. still, it's like, anyways, if you don't want to hear anything, we're going to spoilers a little bit more heavily here in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And Team Rocket dies. Yes, yeah, Team Rocket <laughs> dies. Um, the rat doesn't, thank God. So here's here's the <laughs> I was part. Fingers crossed they don't kill that right. rat. And so here's the problem with this, yeah. um, the movie and the seriousness that it took. Yeah. Is, and this is probably why the humor didn't work either, because the movie had such a serious tone for a right. lot of time. Whenever they threw the humor in, it just didn't fit. No, um, like the the where um, Pete from the Office dies at the end. Yeah, it was so dark, and it was really dark. Yeah. and like blood, his like body explodes all over the window, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan's <laughs> yeah. like, "Oh man, you I know, didn't like need doing that. His, yeah, yeah, I didn't need that." And yeah. like they're playing it off as a funny moment, but I'm right. like. That was really heavy. Like, yeah. it's like not good. Well, absolutely. And that's the other the thing I talked about in the very beginning where they kind of had some tie ins to the video game. So Claire turns out to be, I don't know if you play the video games very much, but. Back when I was like yeah. six. Yeah. Do you remember the lady, <laughs> like the woman in red? Yeah. She was like always a thing you wanted to grab when you're playing the video yeah. game and eat it because yeah. you got, I think it was points or life or something like that. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember. Yeah. But like, she turns out to be the like the lady in red right. from the video game. Yeah. And it's like the most ridiculous scene though, because up until this point He hasn't eaten anybody. He hasn't eaten anybody. How and do they he's know that? still also under the influence. Right. So when she goes, Eat her and then she just picks her up and drops him in, in his mouth, I'm yeah. like, How did you know that would ha- right. like it was just okay? Like right. they just had to tie it. It would have made more sense if they had saved George. And then gotten George to do that, right? Like knocked on the sat the the radio tower or something. But I don't know, right? No, um, it, it, you're right. It was totally uh, weird. And then the thing with they're the, just trying to wrap it the into thing the with the rock, game. how he got shot at the end and then just so shows ridiculous. up. Yeah, and it's like basically like, he's like, okay, I'm good. Yeah. It looks like he's dying, right? <laughs> and then the sad. next scene is like he's like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, and it wasn't a joke. That's what was. The, I actually laughed at this. He's like, oh, I don't think it hit any vital spots. It must have passed through all. And it was like just explaining it. And well, I was like, why did why were you on the ground like dying? I know. All right, like, yeah. I, <laughs> it was literally like they're like, well, we've kind of backed them into a corner here. We need to get rid of the rock because otherwise so, he would be- beat them. So let's just shoot the rock, but he's not really going to be injured. So here's what like, I thought was going to happen. I thought like he was going to take the the gas or whatever and like become like bigger and stronger. Oh, uh, I could see like, that. So that's kind of where I thought they were going with it. <laughs> I would have told Hulk rock. Right. <laughs> that been cool. Like if he couldn't have any, been any bigger already, you know. Yeah. But I was just like, I thought maybe that's because I knew that concept was yeah. there were people that had grown yeah. into the animals. And I was like, is something going to happen? And no, they didn't go that route. Yeah. He just like, hey, I got shot. Um, I, it wasn't as bad as I was I know. He's like, I think I missed all that. I just, <laughs> I kind of didn't really laugh at too. They were trying to go with the whole like, they've embraced this idea now in Hollywood that The Rock is just a big muscular dude. Mm-hmm. And he made so many like self-referential comments of like, I oh, know it's a big arm. Just take it. What well, other like, ones though? That's the only one that. Uh, there was one where he talks to like earlier where he's like, you know, I'm going to like when he's facing off against George, yeah. and he's talking about his size. And then a couple when he's facing off against uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, he makes a comments, a couple comments about how big he and strong he is and everything oh, like really? that. Yeah. And I don't it, remember that. <laughs> well, it's with Naomi and cause okay. they're, they're like fronting and it just like, I, I don't need that self-referential treatment from The Rock. It actually breaks the fourth wall too much to me mm-hmm. at this point because it, it treats him as like a character that's known outside of himself mm. within that film world. And so it just, it didn't fit for me at all. It was like an attempt to have fun, but it wasn't really a fun script. Yeah. You know? He so, does that in uh, the, in Jumanji, but the script actually calls for that kind of like, yeah. like play. Jumanji is a better movie, by the way, but yeah. it's... Uh, um, the only other thing I would really have to say about this film, I don't know if it has to do with spoiler talk or not, but just something I felt like was important to me is it it lacked suspense. Yeah, Everywhere in the film, I knew exactly, like within like a minute before, like I knew exactly what was going to happen. I think the only thing that was a little bit like, oh, I didn't see that coming, was, um, I forget the name of the main bad guy, um... But like the main, the army forces that go in to take out the wolf. Yeah. Um. When that main bad guy died, that yeah, was the yeah. only thing that kind of like because I thought again that they might take him through the. Oh, course they show of the him film. like eating the wolf eating him. Yeah, yeah. Like that was the only thing that kind of surprised me uh, a little bit about yeah. the film. You know? I, I like that sequence. Yeah. And then we talked about that. And I also like the sequence I was telling you about earlier. It was the first time where you see George and the wolf like cross a bridge in the city. It's this wide shot of the wolf like 
jumping up, grabbing a helicopter, and George right. grabbing some Humvees and chucking them. That was fun. And then like his tail that, like flips yeah. around and shoots spikes. I was like, right. dang, that was cool. Yeah, I was expecting that like a uh, halfway in the movie, right? You know, not in the last quarter of the film. And I think what would have worked for me in a in a better way, cut out some time with Dwayne, mm-hmm. and give more time. This sounds ridiculous, but give more time to develop the characters of the individual monsters. Right. The only one that we had any connection to was George. Right. With that whole like fake death thing at the end. Again, they went for like that tear jerker. That was so stupid. I and I saw it, it coming. My, I saw it coming <laughs> my way. I'm like, because here's what happened. They do that like the flipping the off thing at yeah. the beginning. Yeah. And they hadn't done it yet in the movie. Right. And I'm like. That was such a huge call out. There's no way they're not going to do that again. And when he died, he hadn't flipped them off yet. And I'm like, yeah. okay, he's going to come back to life and yeah. then he's going to flip them off. So, and sure enough, exactly. yeah. He, um, I leaned over to my wife because she, she saw it with me. Bless her heart because she didn't really want to see the movie. Mm. But I, for, for reasons of, of this, she's helping me do my job on the real review. So <laughs> I, um, I lean over and go, hey. I bet you he's faking it and he's going to come back to life. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, what? And I'm like, you just wait and see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then two minutes later, he wakes funny. up. Yeah. I was like, yep. It's funny when you see enough of these movies and you like go to a theater with people that aren't big movie people yeah. and you can call stuff like that and they're like, how did you know? Yeah. Like that happened with Isle of Dogs. I yeah. made like a couple calls on like what was going to happen. And, yeah. and they were like, how did you know? And I'm just like, you've seen enough movies. <laughs> you kind of, and you know the director, you kind of know the direction that they're going to go in. Yep. And it takes a lot at times for me to be like, what? Yeah, I didn't yeah, see yeah. that coming. So- yeah, so the end was just completely like unsuspenseful. There was just nothing about it that really made me like be on the edge of my seat. I'm like, yeah. The only thing that was kind of like suspenseful in a sense was like, well, how much damage are they going to do before they finally get knocked out? Right. But I think if they spent more time developing the individual personality of like the wolf creature, which I know sounds strange, but you Ralph. can give it Ralph. Yeah, but you can give it a distinct personality. Like he can be the aggressive one, you know, whereas the alligator can be more like the slow kind of. Th- processing thinking one that doesn't fall for like the tricks or something you can give them an individual personality of sorts that allows you to connect with them in a deeper way so that way when they're doing this damage you're in this weird state where you're like well i kind of want to see what they can do because yeah, yeah, i kind of yeah. connected to them and <laughs> it's going to be a little bit painful when they die as yeah. it was it was like oh, they're, they're, okay they're yeah good. yeah so i don't know it's all good. Yeah. Um, go. Well, hey. Rampage. That's it. Rampage. Anyway. We got Rampage. Have you guys seen it? Have you guys seen Rampage? Let me know. Let us know. <laughs> Email us. Yeah. Email us. Uh, Real talk Media. to us on uh, Facebook. Uh, RealReviewMedia at gmail.com. Let us know what you thought of Rampage. Love it. Um, but that's going to wrap it up for today's show. Joel, is there anything that you would like to add? No. Okay. Real quick, uh, again, realviewmedia at gmail.com. Let us know what's up with that, uh, If what your thoughts were on that, or what you're most excited to see. Um, there's a little movie coming out in a couple of weeks. Um, a little film. Yeah. I can't remember. It's like it's like Agavingers um, in Divindies Wars. Oh, I think I know you're talking about. That's a new DC DC film. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Everybody is like, what are you doing? How dare you? Shut up, Bill. Shut up. But I've been waiting for it for like three years yeah let us know how excited <laughs> you are for that stuff we'll definitely be covering that um in the next couple weeks um yeah bro but uh until then facebook facebook twitter instagram find us at real review media and uh connect with us there and uh i think that's it nothing else for you joel like you said no thanks okay. for listening thanks yeah for thanks for us. listening yeah, thanks for joining the dis- us the discovery that yes we're on. the discovery this it journey continues the journey continues thanks for coming along yeah. i appreciate it yeah well it's been real it's been real <laughs>